Well, let's talk recycling for a moment, yeah. because the recycling you and I and we do at home, it's called uh, mechanical recycling. It has a limited lifespan. Virtually all plastics, even those which have been recycled, eventually end up in a landfill, believe it or not. All right, so now one company has developed a process which breaks down plastics, typically the ones that you don't want, all right, uh, and cannot be recycled into its chemical components and creates recycled material, which uh, has an infinite lifespan. Joining us now to explain all of this is the CEO of Eastman Chemical, Mark Costa. Mark, thrilled to talk to you. I, I, I saw your program with, with uh, you know, Jimmy Chill on, C, on, on CNBC, and I was just like, I got to talk to this guy. Can you explain to us exactly what you do with this unwanted plastic and why it no longer has to wind up in a landfill? Sure, Jim, and it's great to be here on the Weather Channel. We're actually having a bit of rain here in the Appalachian Mountains of Tennessee. So uh, recycling is a hugely important uh, topic for us. Uh, just a quick bit of history about who Eastman is for your viewers, and then I'll explain what we're doing. You know, Eastman is part of or was part of Kodak. We were spun off in 94, but we have 100 years of innovation behind us. And we're the world leader in R&D in polyester plastics, as well as uh, cellulosic biopolymers. Um, and so we, we, we invented a lot of it um, and we got out of the single-use plastic business. We're still making durables, you know, out of our more specialty polyesters. But we felt that looking at this challenge and, and thinking about who we are as a company, this is a great time to engage. You know, at the, as a company, we're focused on the triple challenge of how do we, um, you know, improve the quality of life, address climate, and now uh, more recently add the circular economy for polymers to do it. And as you said, mechanical recycling has limitations. That's what you know today. Only, we only recycle about 12% of polyester. There's about 20 billion pounds of it a year produced in this country. Uh, and mechanical can clean up clear plastic, melt it, and, and put it back in the, in the, in the polymer stream. Rotation. But it only can do about 30% of it. The rest of the plastic's too dirty, or it's textiles or carpet fiber. And molecular recycling, which is what we do, allows us to... Uh, with a little bit of chemistry, unzip the polymer back into its original building blocks, and then we can rebuild it uh, after purifying it into polymer. And that polymer is identical to what we make today, so no compromise in quality. Um, we can use a broad spectrum, the 70% roughly of, of what cannot be mechanically recycled. Wow. We can take that, um, whether it's packaging, even carpet fiber or textiles, and put that back into the circular economy. And what's great about it isn't just that it's an infinite loop like aluminum because we're unzipping the polymer, it retains the quality and robust. It also has a lower carbon footprint. And we believe that whatever we do here can't just solve plastic waste, we gotta solve the climate challenge as well. Right. And uh, so we're like a 20 to 30% lower carbon footprint because we're replacing oil discovery, transportation, refining petrochemicals with one unit that recycles the plastic. Real quick, in 15 seconds, are, is this process used in local recycling centers or do we have to ship our stuff to you? You have to ship our, your stuff to us. It's, you know, we can bring it into our, our facility and reprocess it and send it back out. Um, and it's a really exciting opportunity to sort of put value on all this waste that's ending up in landfill or even worse, the environment. Okay. Oh, I got, a, I got a company to supply you plastic. It's called 4Ocean, Mark. Uh, I know. Millions I was watching and millions. that clip, and I think they'd be perfect for uh, sending it our way. We can take the whole wad of plastic that they have. I would love if That'd that was great. a reunion. That would, be, that would be awesome. CEO Mark Costa, thanks for joining us this morning from Eastman Chemical, doing great things with unwanted plastic.